Here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. Welcome back for today's farm and ranch news. In wildfire news, U.S. Senators will have their third hearing on forest management in two weeks as Forest Service Chief Vicki Christensen faces appropriators this Wednesday. Christensen is slated to appear before the Senate Interior and Environment Appropriations Subcommittee as the federal government predicts another active wildfire season driven by drought conditions across the West. It's an issue I discussed with Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack recently. Well, here's the reality. Uh, we've got uh, a lot of hazardous fuel buildup uh, that needs to be removed from our forests in a way that would reduce the risk of these catastrophic wildfires. Fires are going to happen. Uh, there's no question about that. And the question is whether we can contain them and make sure that they don't uh, jeopardize property and, and more importantly, life. Uh, to do that requires resources. Uh, and the president's budget submitted to Congress recently uh, uh, inc contained a significant increase in the amount of resources for forest ma uh, management. Uh, so we should be able to begin picking up the pace uh, of this effort uh, in our forest uh, to make them uh, more resilient to, to reduce the risk. Now, according to the National Interagency Fire Center, nationwide, there are currently 15 active large wildfires with 10 of those large blazes occurring in the western U.S. Now, speaking of drought, unfortunately, USDA has had to declare 13 Montana counties as primary natural disaster areas. The Secretarial Natural Disaster designation allows the USDA Farm Service Agency to extend much needed emergency credit to producers recovering from natural disasters through emergency loans like drought. Emergency loans can be used to meet various recovery needs, including the replacement of essential items such as equipment or livestock, reorganization of a farming operation, or the refinancing of certain debts. FSA will review the loans based on the extent of losses, security available, and repayment ability. Loan applications are due by January 3, 2022. For more, contact your local FSA office. We'll be right back. 